Hey AP Psych students, welcome to today's video on how to survive AP Psychology. I'm Megan from Fiveable, and um, a little overview of what we're going to talk about today includes a student interview. Two of my former students are going to come on and tell you a little bit about their tips and their strategies for how to make AP Psychology super successful for you. And then I'm going to briefly talk about some reading, vocab, note taking, studying, and test taking strategies. So. We're going to start with the student interview. I want to give a huge shout out to Hannah and Henry for helping me out with this. And here we go. Tell me a little bit about your approach to reading, note taking, and vocab in AP Psychology. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> um, so I definitely made sure to put an emphasis on the vocab. Um, that's going to be quite a bit of the information that's going to pop up on tests. And eventually the AP test uh, is knowing that vocab really well. Also, I think what you pick up in the textbook as opposed to just knowing the general concepts are a lot of really good examples uh, and other connections that you can build your knowledge on. Yeah, um, I also agree with the vocab. I really um, took a lot of time on that and like going through and making sure you understand the words like through your perspective, sort of, not what the book has to say. Um, and because th that's a majority of the test and especially the AP test is like all vocab it's just like definition sort of um, regurgitating the um, words and then for note taking other than vocab I would say just read through it all and then write down what you really think is important obviously don't go overload, overload because there's a lot of um, notes that you could take, you could go on forever, but just make sure you get like the main points. All right. How did you prepare or study for unit exams? I know uh, one thing that I did was I made little flashcards for every vocab word uh, and then I quizzed myself on those. Um, I also just looked back through my notes, but I, I wasn't as, uh, didn't pay as much time to that. Um, but I think just making sure Make sure you go through everything that you did, but not just cramming the night before and taking a look at it uh, over a few days in advance, I think is the best way to go about it. Yeah, for me, there's like questions at the end of each chapter unit. Um, so I went through those sometimes, like towards the last couple of days of unit um, to make sure you get like the bigger points and like concepts and stuff. And then again, with the vocab, just going through it, making sure um, understand it and like end of the book I would go back and just look over at them a couple of times every night um, for each unit. <coughs> what was your favorite thing about the topic of psychology or the class as a whole? Um, one thing that I really enjoyed and I like about uh, other classes as well is just learning a lot more about how other people function. Um, for me it's just really cool to learn uh, how the world around you, gain a better understanding of how the world around you works. Um, so that was one of the most interesting things for me, not just seeing uh, what things are around you, but why they happen and the causes and the reasons behind them, um, I think are really cool. Uh, there are a bunch of really cool units relating to that, um, and I think that was probably one of the most interesting things about the class. Um, for me, the most interesting thing about psychology was just learning I think more about myself like mentally and just emotionally like you have to learn all these new things like how your brain works and how um, your nerves work and that was super cool to me like that's what I'm more interested in so that was awesome and then also just uh, psychology goes over a lot of things like I was saying like you get to learn about um, more biology stuff and then you also get to learn about um, like communication and like uh, um, personality stuff. So, um, question four: If you could go back in time and do one thing differently in AP Psych, what would it be and why? Uh, I would make sure to uh, keep up with the reading. Um, just to read it all at one time is not the best way to go about it. But uh, staying with where your class is at, I think, is really important because as you start to fall more and more behind it's going to be harder to make that uh, what you missed up. Um, and so keeping up with the readings is really important. And that makes it easier uh, on you 
obviously having less homework each night, um, but it also makes in-class time being able to discuss the topics that you read about uh, a lot more beneficial for you if you have that background knowledge coming into class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keeping up with the reading is a super, like you really need to do that for discussions in class like Henry was saying. Um, and for me, one thing I would do differently would be like, to pay attention more in class, um, like every day, because the, the teacher sometimes goes over things that um, you might have missed during the reading or just things that aren't even in the readings um, that could be on the AP tests and other exams. So just paying attention. And, and last question, what other advice do you have for students enrolled in AP Psychology? I think uh, advice that I'd give to students that we haven't covered here uh, is really just to find out what you enjoy about psych um, and really focus on those things. I know for me personally, I do a lot better in class and I certainly get more out of it uh, if I'm enjoying what I'm doing as opposed to if I'm just coming into class and looking forward to the end of it. Um, and so that's one of the biggest things for me is really learn to enjoy it uh, and that just, that'll, that'll make your time in psych a lot easier. Yeah, um, advice that I would give would be, so throughout the year you go through a lot of units and um, I certainly did not go over the first couple of units at all until May came around. So it would be very beneficial for you to go over and review some of the earlier units that you do in like September, October, because you're most likely going to forget a lot of the information. All right, thank you. All right, so that was the student perspective on how to be successful in AP Psychology. And so I want to just throw in a little bit of my own advice. Um, first, for note taking, I really want to encourage you to use your own words. That's going to be super important for helping you remember what you're writing and making sure that you're understanding the material. So that's going to be a really big deal. Um, and that's also the same with vocab or really any type of note taking, writing, anything that you're doing in class. Making sure that you're putting it into your own words and language that you understand. Um, I also want to encourage you to be concise. The textbook is going to be long and have a lot of information, so you should be, you know, jotting down just the relevant info, come up with like a shorthand system for writing notes, whatever you can do to make it a little bit easier on yourself. And then most importantly, to stay on schedule. Um, again, it's a long class and there's a lot of information, and so if you get a little bit behind, that can really build up. But if that does happen, that's okay. Talk to your teacher and um, figure out a plan to get caught up. But make yourself a calendar or do something to kind of help you stay on task with the reading and the work throughout the semester or the year, whether you're taking it in a semester class or a year-long class. Um, and then with vocab, again, I want to encourage you, use your own words. It doesn't do you any good to copy down a definition word for word from the book if you don't understand it. So putting it in language that is comprehensible to you is going to be really a big key to uh, understanding information in the book. And then what I have my students do is for every single vocab word, they have to make a connection, some sort of personal connection to the word, whether it's relating it specifically to their own lives, using an example, use it in a sentence, an analogy, some sort of way to help you remember that word so that when you see it, that little light bulb clicks on in your head and you remember what that word means because it has meaning and a connection to you. So even if your teacher doesn't require that, I would highly, highly encourage you to do that with your vocab. And then for studying and for test taking strategies, just a couple other tips here. Um, don't cram. We call it distributed practice, which means you should study over multiple nights. Um, you're actually going to learn in AP Psych proper studying strategies in regards to how our memories work. And sitting down for three hours in one night is not the way that our brain works. And so you're going to be much better off spacing out your studying, you know, 20 minutes at a time over a couple of nights versus three hours in one night. Um, using recall is also going to be really beneficial, which is testing yourself without just looking at the words. So see if you can come up with the definition of a word on your own um, instead of just looking at it and rereading your information. Um, doing practice questions, studying with your peers, and reviewing often throughout the year are all going to be keys to helping you be successful. And then um, when test time rolls around, I encourage my kids to never skip a question. There's no penalty for guessing. And you never want to skip because if you accidentally get off on your bubbling, like if you skipped question three, 
um, but then you bubbled wrong, all the rest of those questions on your test are going to be wrong. So if you are unsure, make a guess and then put a little notation on your paper, come back to it later. Um, use basic reading skills with the test questions. They're a little lengthier than just, um, you know, fill in the blank or identification. So use underlining to highlight the main ideas and really figure out what the question is asking you. Um, and then lastly, if you're running out of time, um, this is a little ACT prep trick that my students taught me. Always bubble the same letter for the rest of the test. Again, there's no penalty for guessing, and that is going to give you a better chance of getting those questions correct. So, that is all I have for you today. Just a brief overview of how to survive AP Psych, and I think next time we'll be diving into some of the materials. So, I will see you then. Thanks for watching this Five and Below review. Be sure to hit subscribe for more AP content and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at ThinkFiveable.